And I'll watch you to continue to be the worst Let's Player in history, YouTube history. Welcome back, my fellow gamers, to Red Dead Redemption 2, quest for 100%. It's a weird intro. Hmm. So, what are we doing today? We are going to do two things today. My honor is getting back up there, but we kind of want to finish it off. You know, because we want to be good. Well, we're doing really three things. Okay, we're doing a lot of little things. We're not doing anything crazy. Now, we're going to have my satchel. Because we have one map I haven't even touched. Um, now, I actually did this more off screen. Actually, no. I've actually recorded parts of this. And this doesn't make sense to anybody, right? Well... The first part we found, actually in the first five episodes, over near the lookout, somewhere over here on the way there, off a bridge. Um, I remember showcasing one of the pieces somewhere over here in an earlier episode, and then I found the third one randomly off screen. I wish I actually recorded it because it confused the crap out of me. It's over here near Boulder Glade. Now. What's in here? So, so, if I recall correctly, there, and let's be honest, I don't do that well, it's actually right near Valentine, I think. What that map showed. Now remember, I'm bad at maps. That house looks too good. Um, I know that. Stranger? Why is there more stranger missions? There shouldn't be. Actually, this may actually be what I'm looking for. Turkeys? That's where you get your pump game bird? Yep, okay. This is actually what I needed, that's ironic. So over here is this dilapidated house with a cellar. Oh good, he's gonna put the code in for me automatically. This is a side, random side mission that really has no purpose, but I think it's cool to do, for what I've seen. Oh, by the way, you got the ledger in the less east in, uh, outfit. Sorry, should have mentioned that. I got that off screen. You just get it with Taylor after you're 100%ing. Well, this place looks very friendly. Skull bones. We also got to remember that we did find dead bodies throughout this place. Well, that's a balloon. What's this letter say? Edmund from Mother, huh? Well, behind door number one. Bones, dead people. Oh, freaking God bless you! You got me. <laughs> Have you come for me? Or was this all nasty surprise? Or maybe it's both. Maybe it is a nasty surprise, even though you knew I was going to be here. Which is it? Camera? You should think about that. Save yourself thinking about what about to happen now I'm not going to lie it's not going to be nice and fun I mean it'll be fun for me but it won't be nice for you you know I'm gonna throw this head at you I shouldn't have pushed okay I won't well I didn't expect him to get one shot by a punch? 
I'm kind of disappointed. <laughs> well, come here, random guy. Turn this to the sheriff's office. Okay, well, I expected something a little bit more dramatic. Oh, it's nighttime now. Wonderful. You don't have any friends, do you? You look like, like the sociopath type that don't know what friends are. Ironically, the stranger quest mission was actually this. I wonder actually if this is actually considered a stranger quest. I mean, it's feasible. We're here, but but that's a minor detail. We're here to basically turn this guy in because you know, let's finish a murder mystery. He's kind of creepy, too. Well, come on, Mr. Uh, Edmund? I think that letter said. Been, been, <sighs> nothing nice. A lot of folk gone missing over the past few years, and this sick son of a bitch, he ain't right in the head. That's so. <sighs> head on over to the cellar of that broke down shack on the road to the falls. See for yourself. Okay, come on, you. My name is Edmund, Edmund Lowry Jr. And you'll remember that, my friend. I'm sure I shall. Well, you are a frightening fella. I'll all behave, sir. I'll behave as expected. Well, you better. I'll get you a lawyer. Don't you worry about that. You get in that cell, calm as you be. What? Get him off me! What the freak? Cheers, love. Okay. Well, oh, oh, thank you. Thank you. My lord. What a monster. Like I said, have someone head up to his cabin. I think he's killed quite a few. Uh, oh, there's a lot of sick bastards out there. Right here. Here. Here's some money for your trouble. Thank you, Sheriff. Where's a deputy when you need one? Well, that was, uh... Now we gotta get this body out of here. Kinda lame. That's not right. It kinda didn't do anything for my karma. Sir! Easy there. Sir! Okay, well, let's get to the other main part of this episode. It is considered a stranger mission the way it looks like. We are currently sitting in a nice 97.5. So, the one that we're going to focus on today. I don't like you. I got to bring it every time I see it. Is we are missing five weapons. I will tell you that we will get the fifth weapon next episode. So, we're going to finish this and this next. So, one moment. Before I get to the first weapon uh, that we're going to go over, this is what PD now. It's abandoned. I guess the army did get its full revenge after the events of the main story. But, who knows, maybe we'll find one of them later. I do got to say, I feel this is very weird. Some of the weapons you have to find don't even show up anywhere. So, we're in a part of the map I've never been in. Which is you near know, the Calumet Levering, which is why I went to the Indian Reservation to begin with. There is the Ancient Tomahawk here. It's a cool little weapon to have, but... Good girl. Why would you Good come girl. up here? There's no reason to come here up here at all. Besides that, you need 48 weapons. Cool. One problem I do have is there 59 
a lot of these weapons are just so random. I mean, we know about Midnight's Pistol and uh, some of those pistols we had to get. Um, there's a lot of melee weapons for some whatever reason. Um, so there's still, we're going to do three more weapons, so I'll meet you back in a second. I was thinking of places we haven't been in a while, but this is more of an epilogue thing. Looks like the Hanging Dog Ranch. Um, now what we are here for is another weapon. I know these woods are infested by... Ah, oh, freak. This is not what I expected. Fifth one? That's abnormal. Okay. Majority of the times where I've done this, it's been straightforward. Saddle. Plants, we don't need those. I'm looking for a fight. Easy now. Oh, there's a, there's a rock. I think one of my problems with these random weapons in the wilderness is there's no way you're going to find them normally. Like... Seriously. Oh. There it is. We're in a bear. Actually, this one's actually going to showcase what it is. I like the thing. This is the antler knife. Cool little knife. You can find that here right above Hanging Dog Ranch. Kind of an area that... Say it with me. You would never go to. Huh. Uh, two more, so I'll meet you in a moment. Alright, say this with me. You would never come up here. So what we're doing now is the Barrel of Dream Mine. Oh, it's actually going to show the weapon. Though, I swear we've been here twice. Or maybe this is a different mine completely. Honestly, it looks like it... Okay, this place doesn't look familiar at all. Anybody here? Oh, it's a dead body. And skeleton. This is the wide blade knife. A lot of melee weapons. Again, you would never know where to look. That's one of my problems with these weapons. Don't believe me? The last one we're going to do is probably the most confusing. Of them. And you probably know what I'm going to choose. So I will meet you in St. Denis. Alright, before we get started, let's go talk to our, va our favorite person of the world, the Trapper. We need to go to the reinforced equipment section. Are you ready? I'm gonna make sure I need. You need to buy every single reinforced equipment. Why? That's the whole set, huh? Nice. Well, have you noticed I'm stuck at like level eight or level nine with my other stuff, except for health randomly? Why? Sure. So I bought the equipment for a lot of these sections, and when you buy all the equipment, you get the last ranks of each one. It's a little weird, isn't it? So. 
as you can tell in our progress bar, we're still at 97. Point that was worth point three. You're kidding me. That's how you do it. That's pretty. St so you to do this, you have to do challenges. That's not necessarily hard to. Well, yeah, challenges suck. So I'll meet you guys in a sec. Alright, so we're going to do the other Easter egg today, which is find these mysterious writing. Whatever that means. A feet again, the blood of life, a circle has begun. Okay. It's this random storage area. Again, you would never go here. So I'll be right back. Right across the street from our favorite tavern, and number seven, we just were, is our next text. I drank from the maiden. I can't read. I live again in the dead, in the heart of the ring of blood. Huh. Okay. For our third one, we were hitting right behind the gun shop. Underneath some stuff is our fourth one. I was one kid. No what the? Okay, that was weird. I guess that guy got mad at me for having my flashlight at him. I like fighting around the world. With one, because I draw the light from our heart and await the outpost of an advancing day. Features hope. That's weird. This one, of course, is another most random location. But just south of where we just were, so it's not that big of a deal. Swears and days, may your blood rain forever on my lips. Six there will be before the lost is sated. Six there? I don't get that one. Alright, I feel like this is the only one you would legitimately find between the butcher and the general store in St. Denis. That, this would make sense. The other one doesn't. Five bones under the perfect star. Nosferatu will, do, with Dominica, will become mortal again. Hmm. That's the weirdest looking star I've ever seen. I'm going to assume it's going to be right where in the middle of it, because that's usually how it works. Alright, take one of me trying to get there in time. Alright, so what... A horse, I need you. Thanks, mister. Watch yourself. Here now. So where we're going is right near the last one. So let's go visit the general store again. No, right now, you're not important to me. Oh, that guy's in trouble. Is it here? Who are you? So, you found me. <laughs> hey, what are you doing? Stay back for your own sake. I walk with the undead. <laughs> what, you're a vampire? I have been called many names over the centuries. Now go, or I'll feed on you too. You're a goddamn idiot. I'll suck you dry. You got a weapon. Alright, so... 
But it's not for R2, he can one-shot you. There's not many people who can one-shot you in this game, he is one of them. I found the other one. That's fitting. But the main reason why we're here is actually the ornate dagger that he carries. And that is our 47th weapon. You're wondering what 48th is, aren't you? Next, I'm on Red Dead Edition 2. We finished the story. I'll see you then.